In this video I'm going to show you how to use custom columns. Custom columns are available on the one click screen and because you can undock and modify the one click screen you can actually use custom columns to do some very clever things. Um, the one click screen itself you can actually modify content and uh, you can change the sort order uh, within the one click screen and you can also modify, if I just pull this up, you can choose the columns that are available on the one click screen and if you use the column chooser you can actually decide to delete, remove or move columns in and around the screen. That's one dimension of what you can do and you can do that on the one click screen or the manual bet screen but what you can also do is then save those out into a profile and bring them up as and when appropriate but using the custom columns takes your betting onto a completely new level and the concept behind the custom columns is quite simple. If I click on here, I will back at 148. If I click on here, I will lay at 149. And we can reverse the book, and it will back or lay at 148, 149 at these stakes. But that's how a basic button works on this particular screen. But if we go over to here to the custom columns, uh, we can create our own characteristics when we actually click on the screen first thing to notice that you have profiles within here so as you can with the screen and with the settings you can save your own profile so what we'll do here is we'll create one called horses in running and all the custom columns will inherit characteristics uh, that we display from here so you can see on the custom columns we've got columns 1 to 20 so you can create 20 columns in other words if you look at this screen here you can add another 20 columns to that screen and what we can actually do is custom create the characteristic of each column so in this one what we're going to be doing is we're going to be laying a horse at relatively short odds um, so what we're going to do is call this lay in running and that's what the title of the column will be called that will pop up here so maybe you want to abbreviate that and we'll call that to make the screen look a bit neater, IR lay. And we can create a tooltip. So the idea of a tooltip is when you actually hover over one of these buttons, it will tell you and explain what's going on. So what we will uh, do is create the tooltip for this by saying, click here to lay just above the current price in running. And then we have to define the characteristics of this particular button. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say that um, the, bet type, uh, the bet type will be a lay. Uh, we can assign a color to it, create our own custom color, the uh, system color, and so on. So what we'll actually do is we'll give it a yeah, let's let's highlight this in a, in a deeper color than we currently have, and then we can choose whether we want to cancel the existing bets in the market or not. So on this occasion, I'm going to say well. I'm going to cancel both sets of bets when we place this order. It ticks offset from the current lay price and we have to define the current lay price. So what we're saying here is when we place this bet it won't go in at the current price that's, uh, that, that is available. What it will do is ask for a price outside of that and the advantage of this is if you're laying and running you may go to lay something at 110 but by the time your order has reached the market it's at 120 or something. So we'll say offset 10 ticks above because you can go above or below and if we're going in running ideally we want to work with a fixed liability rather than get some really stupid price so on this occasion we're going to be using a 10 pound liability and when we click it will work out the liability based upon the price we click at and fix our liability at 10 pounds so the maximum we could ever possibly lose here is 10 pound you can see the screen is orange in the background here and this is because I've got it in practice mode and I suggest that when you first do anything new, you fire up in practice mode just to get used to the characteristics and maybe tweak it to 15 ticks or maybe tweak it to 5 or change the way, it, just experiment. And so going into practice mode is the best way to do this. So now that we've set this up, if I save the column, then that column is now available. So you can see here we've got in running lay and then we've got columns 2 to 20. There are so many variations that you can do within here. You can see all of the different settings that you can apply. That um, That's why we've got so many extra custom columns. But once we've set that custom column, what we can actually do is put it within inside the grid. 
So if we bring up the column chooser here, which is this button here, we'll click on the column chooser. You can see we've got all of the standard columns within here. Best back price, third best back price, name microchart, manual green up, um, the P&L, uh, weight of money, all of those things. But if we now scroll up to the top, here you can see we've got custom column one and so on, all the way down there. If we select our horse um, in running, click on the custom column and there is the in running lay. So you can see you've actually got 20 odd columns, multiple profiles, so you can create hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of uh, screen layouts that are specific to the function you want to perform. And then it's just a question of flicking backwards and forwards between the setting. And if we have a setting like this, what we can actually do is save this within the general profile. So we could actually um, create a horse race in running here. You can see here microcharts, football, five prices, greyhound, all manner of other things. And then you can actually save that setting and it will inherit the custom columns. And then it's just a question of flicking between each one of these settings depending upon the mode that you wish to use. So if you bring up the, co the column chooser, select in running lay, then that column now appears within that screen and we can start messing around and changing the screen to the way we want. In this particular strategy we're not going to place any back orders so what I'm going to do is get rid of all of the ones on the back side. We may select some of these prices but what we'll do is um, we'll put the in running lay at the end of those prices so we could click over here and if we wanted to we just use the the custom defined one. So to replicate a £10 liability, if I go up to here and do liability staking, maximum stake £10 auto update, and we'll get rid of that because we're not going to place any back orders, and we'll get rid of that because we're not going to make a market in running. In fact, why don't we get rid of those as well? You can see here that clicking on any of these will derive the stake from this side, but clicking here will create that custom condition. So we will lay at 1.57, it will match at 147 because that's the best available price and it will do that for a liability of £10. When you're happy with the way the screen is set up you can switch off the headers and then you can actually save that screen um, with the profile that you've got here and uh, we'll call that something else. Let's do um, save as horses in running and then that is ready to, to rock and roll. We can modify and change any of these. We can add in 20 custom columns and we can have different profiles for different sports and situations pre-off and in play. But that's basically how you would set up uh, a basic custom column.